I'll be answering all of your questions live, so be sure to drop them in the comments section below. The real estate industry is the least digitized, declining in productivity, and has a strong resistance to change. In today's show, we'll be covering five things. One, the evolution of the online property search and the path of least resistance. We'll be talking about the distressing area of a home, which is the owner's suite, owner's spa. We'll be talking about the entertainment space, which is the kitchen and the rear deck. We'll be talking about flex space, which could be a future nursery or an office, home office or a gym. We'll be talking about storage space within the property. And then we'll also be adding a new item, which is quarantine space. Is this a great property for you to be in lockdown for the next 90 days? Number two, we'll talk about what consumers say about the evolution of the online property search. Number three, we're going to talk about the top seven reasons why digital twins are the perfect solution for social distancing. Number four, we'll talk about the top seven reasons why digital twins are the perfect solution for a building's life cycle. And number five, we'll talk about the top 15 reasons why digital twins are the evolution of property search. Real estate agents have shown properties the same way for over 165 years. It's amazing. Our industry has been fighting hard to protect the old fashioned business models. In all those years, nothing much has changed until now. Social distancing has made every business model obsolete. If you're not thinking and acting like a startup, you're doing it wrong. Number one, the evolution of the online property search and the path of least resistance. We started with photos, right? Everyone had photos. Some of them were pretty crappy photos. Some of them are photos from a cell phone or a, a camera, an analog camera. Uh, but they didn't really talk about what I call the deaths aspect of the home, the distressing area, the entertainment space of a home, the flex space, storage space, right? Quarantine area. Photos just didn't tell that story as good as they could. And then we got into floor plans. Floor plans were great, but they were still static. They were schematic. They were 2D. I mean, it gave you the, the, ele the elevation and the, the way the home flowed, but it still, you know, wasn't great enough. But it was an evolution uh, in the property search. And then came video. And still, not every agent uses video to market their homes, but video didn't do enough to really capture those distressing areas, the entertainment area, right? The flex space, the storage space, and what we need now is quarantine space. And then, we evolved, the industry evolved to 360 degree fishbowl tours. Remember those fishbowl tours that look like you were in a fishbowl or binoculars or something? And uh, those were 360, but still didn't quite cut it. And now the industry has evolved to immersive 3D virtual reality tours, which I call digital twins. And these do the perfect job of being able to discuss and show the distressing area of the home. And if you remember, that's the owner suite, owner spa. It also does a great job at discussing and showing and telling the story about the entertainment space. That would be the kitchen and rear deck if the home has one. And then the flex space, that future nursery, the home office, or the gym. And then the storage space in the home, right? Uh, immersive 3D virtual tours, otherwise known as digital twins, do a great job of, of telling that story. And then also uh, that new space that we're talking about nowadays, which is that quarantine space. Who can tell me the average time a home buyer spent at an online property listing before deciding whether to visit? Who knows the answer to that question? Go ahead and put it in the comments section below. <laughs> Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Who can tell me the percentage of home buyers who find it impossible to access or assess room size from an online listing? Who can tell me that? Go ahead and chime in. Put your answer into the, uh, into the comments section below. It's actually 60%. Who can tell me the percentage of sellers that would recommend an agent offering digital twins to their friends? 87% of sellers. Who can tell me the percentage of buyers who would recommend an agent offering digital twins to their friends? It's actually 86%. So the consumer is looking for this type of technology, but 
how many agents are really offering it. What percentage of sellers said that they would prefer to work with an agent offering a digital twin of a property over one that did not? 88% of sellers said they would recommend that agent. Properties with digital twins sell 20% faster than properties without. Digital twins command up to 9% higher sales price. What percentage of buyers reported that a digital twin allowed them to take measurements that would make them more interesting in the listing? 90% of buyers said that if the listing they saw online allowed them to take measurements, they'd be more interested in that property. What percentage of home buyers are irritated by property profiles misrepresenting the true condition of the property, meaning the agent or the seller just went out and took pictures and video of the nicest parts of the property, but not the property, not the areas of the property that needed work. 75% of buyers say they're irritated because the property does not show its true condition online. What percentage of sellers say digital twins would give their listing a competitive edge over the competition? 99% of sellers said a digital twin would give them a competitive edge over their competition. What percentage of buyers would buy a property sight unseen? We call those buyers, there's a new term in the industry, it's called unseen buyer. What's the percentage that would buy a property sight unseen? Go ahead and put your answer in the comments below. Would you believe it's 55%? More than half of buyers out there would buy a property sight unseen if it had all the data for them to make a qualified proper decision? What percentage of buyers and sellers would switch to an agent offering digital twins? Well, 92% of Gen Z would switch, 83% of millennials would switch to an agent that used digital twins, and 63% of Gen X would switch to an agent using digital twins. Real estate agents have shown properties the same way for 165 years. Our industry has been fighting hard to protect old-fashioned business models. In all those years, not much has changed until now. Social distancing has made every business model obsolete. If you're not thinking and acting like a startup, you're doing it wrong. Social distancing has created a 191% increase in the creation of 3D home tours on Zillow in just one week. Social distancing has created a 215% increase in virtual tours on the UK's Zupa new homes portal. Social distancing has created a 500% increase in video home tours in one week on Redfin. The top seven reasons why digital twins are the perfect solution for social distancing. Number one, they reduce drive time. Actually, how many of you, if you're a real estate agent or a real estate broker watching this, or a builder, developer, how many of you have a virtual room where a prospective buyer, you know, once, either before the crisis, uh, the COVID crisis or after the COVID crisis where a prospective buyer can come in and view uh, your digital twins, either in a virtual reality headset or they can just come in and view multiple properties without physically having to drive to each one. So number one, uh, digital twins reduce drive time. Would you believe that in 2019, the average Washington DC worker spent 12 days out of the year, 12 days of their life, sitting in rush hour traffic. <laughs> Not so much of a big problem now, but uh, it was a problem in 2019 and in years before. Number two, global reach. There's no translation required when you've got a digital twin on your property. Number three, it's a 24 hour, seven day a week open house. Sellers don't need to get rid of the dog and the clutter and leave the house right, to prepare for a conventional open house. They don't have to worry about prospective buyers coming in and rummaging through their refrigerator or their medicine cabinet or their panty drawer, right? Uh, digital twins create that 24 hour, seven day a week open house. It also creates an immersive experience. That's number four. Makes you feel like you're actually there, right? That full 360, uh, experience makes you feel like you're actually there. It's very immersive. And then number five, it helps the property stand out from the competition. Number six, it can drive more people to your social channels and your website. And number seven, it's cheaper, better, and faster at educating 
decision makers, right? Cheaper, better, faster in educating decision makers. Now let's transition. Let's talk about the top seven reasons why digital twins are the perfect solution for a building cycle. And so we're more so talking about commercial properties at this point. Number one will be design. Saves time by capturing a 3D building information model, otherwise known as BIM, to capture current conditions. And this can have up to a 20 times cost savings. Number two, streamline workflow, documentation, material estimation, and stakeholder collaboration. This reduces site survey costs by up to 50%. And number three, promotions. Boost business revenue with increased engagement, visibility with fewer days on market. And this can create a 50% reduction in time to offer. And then number four, operations. Increase ROI, reducing costs for facility management and ongoing maintenance and asset documentation. It eliminates dozens of stakeholders from physically viewing the property. And then insurance. Decrease risk with accurate 3D documentation, increases quality underwriting, claim cycle, and improve customer satisfaction. This reduces inquiries and disputes with insurance adjusters. And then number six, repairs. Reduces times and disputes with contractors. They can conduct estimates and adjustments remotely. This can increase workflow capacity by 10%. Now let's talk about the top 15 reasons why our digital twins are the cheaper, faster, better solution. Number one, we provide same day, complete 3D laser scanning. So if you wanna get one of your properties, whether it's a commercial property, whether it's a residential property, converted to a digital twin, we can do it same day. Number two, our digital twin supports safe social distancing by limiting physical exposure and in-person access. Number three, our digital twins provide 99% dimensional accuracy. Number four, our digital twins provide a centralized construction information platform. Number five, our digital twins help global stakeholders access project files, drawings, bids, contracts, schedules, requests for information, otherwise known as RFIs, and inspection reports. Number six, our digital twins support virtual collaboration with stakeholders to solve problems, take measurements, and track resolutions. Never miss a measurement again, not with our digital twins, because you can measure right within the, within the app. And number seven, our digital twins reduce the need for in-person inspections throughout construction. Number eight, we consider doing weekly digital twins they're perfect for pre-demolition for, pre for effective bidding and estimation, post-demolition to inform stakeholders of conditions, scope, and pricing, during construction to manage RFIs and punch lists, after completion for long-term facility operations. And number nine, it resolves inquiries anywhere, anytime. The great thing about it, I think, is number 10. There's no account set up, no app to download. Number 11, no stakeholder travel required. <laughs> and then number 12, our twins are hardware agnostic. They work on a mobile device, they work on a desktop, a laptop, they work on an iPad, and they even work with a virtual reality headset as well. And then number 13, our digital twins allow you to monitor live on-site video feeds. So if you've got a security camera or security video feed, our digital twins allow you to access that right from your mobile device, right within the digital twin. Number 14, our digital twins provide visibility in all locations because it's a 360 degree image or model of a home. Number 15, our depth sensing technology and advanced artificial intelligence provide a cheaper, faster, better way to create a true digital twin. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna come in and show you a use case uh, for a property that we just completed last week. Uh, this is a property in Clinton, Maryland, uh, in the Sheltonham uh, Estates community and a beautiful listing uh, just listed by my good friend and client, Russy Wilson. Uh, thanks so much for allowing us to come out and kind of help you with the, with the marketing on the property. 
So super excited about what we were able to do for her. The property address is actually 8511 Kitima, Kitima Drive, Clinton, Maryland, in the Sheltonham Estates uh, community. And so a uh, beautiful listing, but um, the sellers have, have kind of moved out. Um, and the, as you can see, the dining room, the formal dining room, just needs a little bit of staging. And so what we were able to do is actually add what are called matter tags within the property because we want to give more of a, um, a semantic perspective or semantic understanding of the property, which is a little bit more of a detailed understanding of the property. And so we came in and, and virtually staged the, the dining area just so a prospective buyer will get an idea of kind of what a staged uh, or finished um, you know, formal dining room uh, might look like within the property. And so you'll see these, these uh, red matter tags throughout the property. And so these are just different things that we can do to help enhance it. And then I think what we did in this particular room, uh, which is more of a study, we call it kind of a flex space, uh, could be a, uh, um, a sitting room or an office. Uh, of course, the seller right now is using it as an office space. And so what we did was just, you know, add some content uh, where someone could actually click that button and then go straight to uh, Rusty's Facebook page to be able to, um, you know, share content and share the screen on Facebook uh, and share photos with family, friends uh, of the property that they may be interested in uh, right on Facebook. So that's pretty cool um, that it has that, you know, uh, capability of being able to do that. All right, so let's take you around the rest of the property and show you kind of what we added. Uh, here's another matter tag uh, right here, which uh, talks about the engineered wood flooring, you know, half inch thick, uh, five inch wide engineered wood flooring, uh, coffee bean color. Um, so we went ahead and added that information. And then as you kind of step out of the foyer, um, we talked a little bit about the decorative stair rails with metal balusters, oak handrail, and plate stained. Uh, to closely match hardwood flooring. Uh, we talk a little bit about the, you know, what kind of carpet is it? You know, bu buyers want to know these things, right? Uh, so this is wool skin carpet. Uh, it's been very well maintained. Looks like this is one of those houses where you uh, got to take your shoes off <laughs> before you come into the property. So um, uh, that, that's, that's fairly obvious uh, by the uh, immaculate condition of the carpet. And then, you know, okay, well, great. What is this black thing here in, in the wall? Oh, okay, well, it's a 42 inch uh, heat and glow Cosmo direct vent gas fireplace. So uh, really nice uh, to enjoy uh, with family and friends. And then the luxury lifestyle video uh, that we did of the property uh, shows right here on the TV screen, which is pretty cool as well. So, um, so you can check that out. Um, and uh, let's see what else we can show you uh, in the property as we zoom around. Yep, we've got some more matter tags in the kitchen area. So let's step out here. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we did um, a talk a little bit about kind of what's going on up here. So, um, so we've got two matter tags kind of suspended from the ceiling. One talks about uh, the fact that this is a ceiling fan roughing, uh, which is cool to kind of describe that. Somebody wants to add a ceiling fan, a chandelier, uh, something like that. And then the uh, sellers, I uh, decided to upgrade the windows uh, and add six three foot by six foot uh, windows. Uh, they added six of those. So um, uh, perfect option for watching the sunset because this, this uh, uh, view is towards sunset, uh, towards the west. So uh, really nice views out of the property. Okay, so as we go into the kitchen area, uh, we've got this matter tag here, which talks about the Manchester maple espresso base cabinets. Uh, also good detail for prospective buyers. And then as we kind of zoom to the right, see if we can level this out a little bit, you know, it talks a little bit about the gray and white backsplash tile, tile granite countertops. Um, we've got the uh, Whirlpool stainless uh, steel electric double wall oven. We've got uh, uh, progress pendant lights, right? Uh, the prospective buyer might want to know uh, well, what, what kind of stone is this uh, on the countertop? We know that the other counter around the perimeter is granite, but what's, what's this? Well, this is, you know, frost white quartz countertop. Uh, someone might want to know 
um, you know, cool, nice, uh, you know, four burner gas stove cooktop. That's pretty cool. What is it? It's a KitchenAid stainless steel cooktop with downdraft, four burner. And then you've got information about the microwave, uh, which is a nice Whirlpool 1.9 uh, cubic foot stainless steel microwave, a little video about the microwave to just talk about the features, advantages, and benefits of that particular product. And then you've got some additional details um, uh, right here with a sink. So you got a double bowl undermounted stainless steel sink, includes chrome single handle, uh, Moen Branford faucet. So it's pretty cool to be able to, you know, take a deeper look at that, find out what kind of uh, upgrades the, 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 the owner made uh, to the property. And then here the dishwasher is a Whirlpool three cycle stainless steel dishwasher, right? Refrigerator, which is a Whirlpool stainless steel refrigerator with ice maker. Um, all these are, are, are important details for any prospective buyer uh, that's searching the property and kind of wants to know, right? Um, you know, these are things that you don't want to leave out. You want to, you know, be transparent about them. And then this huge walk-in pantry uh, is a nice addition as well. All right, and then we'll come back out. We've got a nice eat-in, huge eat-in uh, kitchen, uh, family dining area. So this is this is what we consider to be the entertainment space of the home. This whole area right here uh, is the entertainment space, and and unfortunately. Fortunate, unfortunate, you know, good option for the buyer. Uh, buyer has a great opportunity to add a deck. This particular property doesn't have one, but it's got ample uh, entertainment space. Uh, and you can tell that this, um, this home was probably an entertainer's uh, property as well. And so uh, definitely highlighted uh, with that space here. So when we say the, uh, the entertainment area, this is what we're talking about, okay? And so uh, I would rank this fairly high from an entertainment perspective. Uh, to be able to watch the games, you know, um, celebrate uh, the holidays, you know, this is a great place to be able to do that. So let's uh, let's head on uh, to the back of the home. Okay, so we've got the uh, the drop zone here, uh, where you come, you know, straight out of the garage. So why don't we head into the garage actually? So this is a, a three car garage. Um, you know, two cars here, and then we'll go into the other one car garage part a little bit. Uh, so we've got some information about, um, uh, let's see, let me go back. We've got some information about the garage door opener, right? Some, somebody would wanna know about that. It's a Chamberlain garage door opener for one garage door. Uh, comes with two remotes, uh, includes half power, half horsepower access master chain drive. Um, you know, simple little detail, but it's, it's a nuanced thing that, you know, some, some prospective buyers would, would want to know. And um, um, so you got a nice uh, two-car garage here, plenty of space for SUVs. Uh, you've got a full house vac uh, right here, uh, right in this section right over here is the full house vac. So that was a nice uh, addition by the sellers. And then uh, this is another bay. Uh, here and it looks as though uh, this particular seller uh, uses this for washing the car, right? So um, keeping it clean, storing a bike, those types of things. All right, so this is the one car garage. And um, all right, so why don't we, um, why don't we head into the, we'll come back out of the uh, garage area. All right, so we're coming out of the garage garage is right behind me just to kind of orientate you. And then we'll go into the powder room right on the main level. Powder room's pretty nice. Uh, nice powder room, hardwood floors in the powder room, which is very nice. And then um, uh, let's go over this way. This is kind of that drop area, drop zone is what it's called, uh, where you can come in, uh, hang up jackets, coats, boots, um, all that right here, and then there's nice uh, granite uh, countertop, uh, Galio uh, granite countertops, or Giallo, excuse me, uh, granite countertops here in the drop zone. So nice, uh, nice touch there. And then there is a main floor bedroom uh, if you're talking about a uh, multi generational uh, living situation. This is a great option. Uh, if you've got uh, people that just don't want to, you know, hit the stairs or you've got parents or other family members coming in, it's great to have a main level uh, uh, owner suite 
uh, or, or bedroom here on the main floor. And because it's not stage, of course, we went ahead and showed, you know, kind of what that, um, you know, main level bedroom would look like staged, right? So we went ahead and added that, uh, which was a nice addition. And again, we're all about uh, being able to provide a little bit more of an understanding of the property for the prospective buyer. I mean, the 3D tours alone are great, but when you can add that semantic detail, that understanding, that's what we're finding buyers really want from this type of technology is to be able to say, okay, well, you know, what's the floor plan look like on just this level? So let's just look at this level uh, of the floor plan. We can also do a, uh, a dollhouse view uh, of this level as well. So you can get an idea of what the property looks like from a dollhouse perspective. And then you can also take measurements right here with the measurement mode. And a great thing about it is you don't need to have a, uh, any type of, you can do this all from a mobile device, right? It's, it's hardware agnostic. You can be in virtual reality. And when you're in virtual reality, when you got the headset on, there's nobody that can tell you that you're not physically in this space, right? Um, so here's the, uh, the full bath here on the main level. And again, we've, we've highlighted the fact that uh, it's got that Manchester maple uh, special espresso cabinets uh, here in the main level bedroom. All right, so this is the main floor. Why don't we go ahead and um, uh, head upstairs and uh, uh, well, actually, we'll come through this way. Don't want to uh, forget the uh, kind of butler's pantry area uh, for some meal prep right uh, here in the pantry and then you come back out to the formal dining room uh, and then you're back into the main quarters of the room but why don't we go ahead up to the bedroom level and we'll go right through the floors uh, right up to the bedroom level and we land right here in the laundry room uh, washer dryer do convey nice samsung front loaders and we've got a little matter tag here that just talks about uh, the vinyl flooring here in the uh, in the laundry room, which is pretty typical, um, but it would be nice, you know, buyers would want to know that, right? Um, and, you know, in my opinion, the, the property with, a, with more detail wins, right? So uh, if I'm not mistaken, Resi uh, also did a pre-listing home inspection and pre-listing appraisal. Uh, so that information is available to their prospective buyer. Um, so let's see what other details we have. We've got another uh, matter tag here that just talks about uh, the owner's suite tray ceilings, uh, which is pretty cool. So kind of describing what that is. And then um, scoot back a little bit. And then we did uh, virtually stage the owner's suite uh, as well. Uh, so you can see what it looks like with more of a modern uh, type feel versus the uh, current, uh, current condition. So we went ahead and added that. Um, but this is a, a good space as well, Lot, lots of space here. And, and another thing you want to be, you know, considering is kind of, you know, quarantine space, right? So um, when we're talking about, uh, you know, the situation, the COVID-19, where people are on lockdown for 90 days or more, uh, you want to make sure that you have a, a space that, that can accommodate that where people are comfortable. And so this is what we, when we talk about the distressing area of the home, this is what we're talking about, right? The owner's suite, owner's spa. When you have a hard day at work or a hard week at work, uh, whether you're outside working, you're an essential worker, or you're working from home, you wanna come home and you wanna kinda de-stress, right, from that hard day of work. So a uh, couple of alcoves here. I mean, I could see this space in here being like a home office, uh, right in this section right here. So you got a lot of ample space there, a sitting room maybe. Um, but if someone's looking for that space to be able to do what they need to do um, from a productivity perspective, you've got that. Uh, why don't we go into the, um, to the walk-in closet? This is a massive closet. Um, I've seen a lot of people, I've seen major, like Khan um, from the Khan Academy, he operated that video show out of his closet. His closet was not <laughs> as big and, and lush as this one. Um, but he did it out of a closet. So if you check his early videos, uh, the Khan Academy was broadcast live from his closet uh, in, in his home. He turned that into a YouTube studio. So um, it's not unheard of. And this is a great size office. I mean, it's bigger than my office at home. And this is just the, the walk-in closet. So, you know, a lot of people are utilizing different spaces for different things. So this is the, uh, the walk-in closet. And then we'll go into the owner's spa. A really nice spa here. 
and then we've got some um, some matter tags here. Uh, let's see, this is talking about the Maple Falls ceramic tile package, which was chosen for the bath, uh, both on the floors and the walls. And then you've got the uh, Manchester Maple Espresso cabinets as well. So uh, we've got uh, kind of his and hers vanities, double vanity uh, here in the uh, owner's suite, owner's spa. And again, we're, we're pointing out the fact that these are Manchester Maple Espresso cabinets. And then you've got this uh, awesome tub, uh, this freestanding tub uh, right uh, outside the shower. It's a nice two-person tub. Uh, again, this is known as the distressing air of the home, the owner's suite, owner's spa. So, you know, this is how buyers uh, make decisions on homes, is how does that distressing area feel? How does the entertainment area feel? And we'll talk about some of the others as well. And then, you know, that additional space being that quarantine space, um, you know, can I see myself, you know, locked down for 90 days uh, in this property is the question that a lot of uh, prospective home buyers are asking. So uh, dual head shower, uh, which is really pretty cool, uh, two person shower uh, with some sit down capability as well. So, um, so let's see if we can see the extra head. Uh, there it is right there, there's a dual head shower. Um, so again, uh, the great thing about uh, this digital twin is nothing's left out. It's a full 360. So oftentimes when I'm hired to come into the properties, I really need to explain to the, uh, to the client, whether it's the agent or the seller, that th this camera is unforgiving. Um, it does definitely show a full 360 uh, perspective of a home. Uh, nothing can be left out. Um, and so, you know, uh, but buyers, buyers want that, right? So there's a, uh, an actual uh, aerial, what we call a God's eye view of the second floor, the bedroom level of the home. And this can be segmented, uh, you know, second floor, we just came off of the, uh, the second floor. So there that is. And then the basement area, which will go to uh, last, but, um, want to focus and finish touring the, uh, the bedroom level. So now we'll go down the hall and we've got another bedroom here, uh, which is very spacious. Um, you know, uh, if I were, you know, working on this space, I, I might put a desk right here. Um, so you got outlets there. This is great for an office for, you know, a child or another adult, um, but a uh, great space there to be able to put a desk and be able to do some work there good size uh, closet, nice walk-in closet in this bedroom. As you can see, it's uh, very, very spacious. And then you've got the uh, Jack and Jill bath, uh, so you can kind of come through here. Uh, nice sunlight. So these are really nice estate homes, uh, high-end homes. Um, this lot is about close to 40,000 square foot lot, uh, so it is pretty sizable. Um, you've got the, uh, the double vanity here and also talking about the fact that there's Manchester Maple Espresso cabinets uh, here in this bathroom. And then you've got the uh, commode and shower uh, back here. So these two uh, bedrooms, uh, you know, share this bathroom. Uh, that's why it's called Jack and Joe. The other bedroom, uh, you got two, two closets uh, here. Uh, not necessarily walk-in, but uh, good closet space uh, for sure. Uh, lots of windows, lots of sunlight coming in. So that's a great option. Uh, plenty of light coming in this room, okay? And then uh, what we'll do is come back out here. And so this is uh, the open uh, two-story uh, family room, the great room, uh, which is really pretty cool, right? And then you've got, again, the uh, ceiling fan rough in, and then we talk about the, uh, the three foot by six foot uh, wide windows. And uh, really wide stairwell as well as you uh, are coming down or carrying furniture up up and down the stairs um, pretty wide to be able to navigate and uh, so we'll go downstairs you've got an, another closet another room here gosh you can do a lot of different things with this room um, you know it's a lot of storage space here so again that's one of the other things so we talked so far about uh, it's called defs I call it defs Q I added the Q on the end. So D-E-F-S, uh, the distressing area, the entertainment area, the flex space, the storage space, and then we added uh, Q at the end um, for quarantine space. And so this is a good storage space here. Uh, this home has a lot of different uh, storage kind of alcoves throughout. 
why don't we head on down to the uh, to the basement area and I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and uh, go straight through the floor down to the basement area and a uh, great thing about this basement is you've got the got lots of storage but you also have uh, as the matter tag explains nine foot floor to ceiling walls uh, in the recreation room so uh, a lot of great space here you know as you can see loads and loads of storage uh, space uh, in this home and storage we'll call it flex space as well so if you wanted to build out uh, another bedroom down here you could you want to build out uh, a bar you could uh, looks like you got about 400 amps two, two 200 amp boxes there um, so as you can see, there's, there's ample, ample space for storage um, and, you know, rough ends to be able to, uh, to build out as well. You've got the sump pump there. Uh, everything's nice and insulated. Uh, you got your sprinkler system, right? Uh, all that's there. Um, you got some rough ends and then uh, additional storage here as well. And so we'll peep out uh, this way. And then you've got... Uh, why don't we go, we'll go this way. Um, more storage space in this closet uh, as well. And then you've got um, uh, additional space. Again, this could be anything that you wanted it to be down here. Uh, the majority of the basement's full, finished. Um, you know, the rec room is finished, but uh, this is a, a great space for another bedroom. A uh, huge bedroom, again, a rec room, you know, a, a game room. Uh, offices, um, a lot of different things that you could do down here with this space. It's kind of, you know, a, a, a dream space to be able to, uh, to build uh, any way that you wanted. And then uh, there is the, uh, the finished uh, full bath uh, here in the basement area. Uh, and again, we've highlighted the fact that we've got the uh, uh, maple uh, Manchester Maple Espresso Cabinets. You've got the uh, fully finished lower level full bath with nine foot ceiling, rock port, almond tile package, and then the, um, the white tile package as well, the rock port white tile package uh, here in the, uh, in the full bath in the lower level. It's a really nice bathroom uh, for sure. All right, so let's, uh, let's finish this tour up here in the, uh, in the rec room. And go kind of behind the couch here. Uh, I think we added one additional tag here, and this is the walkout basement with window slider door. Uh, and as you can see, this is a huge, huge uh, uh, recreation room. Uh, great for watching Super Bowl parties or, you know, uh, football games, whatever you wanted to do uh, in this space. A lot of different options here. It, it is uh, pretty massive. And then you've got kind of a um, uh, a little dining uh, nook uh, here as well. So again, this is the um, the home, and this is kind of what we are calling that digital twin, right? Where where you can get that 3D digital perspective of a particular property. We went ahead and added uh, about almost 40 different matter tags, and again, those are those red tags that really talk about the features, advantages, and benefits of the home. And um, we really emphasized the uh, distressing area, the D. Uh, that's that owner suite, owner spa right there up top, right? That's the distressing area of the home. And then we talked about the, uh, the entertainment area, right? That's the kitchen uh, deck, if the home had one. But in this particular situation, this home has a, uh, a huge uh, great room. So that would be the kitchen great room open concept would be your entertainment area right there on the second floor. Uh, and then uh, the DEF, the F, the flex space, right? Where is that home office? And so uh, this space here uh, could be the home office. Let's see if I can make that a little bit smaller. So, um, so we've got the, the home office already built in. Uh, there's one office there, uh, but there's a couple of nooks in the other bedrooms, uh, basement area that could be used as uh, office space, gym space. I mean, there's plenty of space in the in the um, in the in the garage. Even even if you wanted to convert uh, this extra bay uh, as a gym, you could do that, right? This bay right here, uh, you definitely have the capability of being able to convert that gym uh, into uh, or excuse me, this this other bay into a gym. You could do it in the basement. You could do it upstairs. You could do it in the closet. 
Uh, so that would be the flex space and then the storage. I mean, loads and loads of storage uh, throughout the home, uh, either in the garage, the basement area. Uh, we talked about this space right here. as great for storage as well, so lots of storage space. And then, and then quarantine space uh, being that last uh, thing to consider uh, is, you know, is this a home that I could imagine uh, being locked down for 90 days? And, and I'd have to say it is. Uh, if I had to be locked down for 90 days, I would feel very comfortable being locked down here uh, if I had to be under quarantine. So, uh, so that's the tour, and uh, we're finding that these types of digital twins are extremely helpful uh, for prospective buyers to give them proper context. So that's our show for this week. I definitely want you to come back next week because we're going to have something real special for you. This is Aaron Rice with the Virtual Reality Collaboration Lab here in Baltimore City. I'll check you soon.